Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good week. So we'll get started with our lesson, but first we'll bow in. All right, let's make sure you have your favorite pillow because we will use that for our warm ups today. If you don't have it, go get it. Set it in the middle. And at first, we're going to do some side shuffling. All right, and switch directions. Keep your eyes on the pillow. Now get a little bit closer and we're gonna do side shuffle the other direction again, but you need to touch the pillow every once in a while. All right, and switch directions. And touch the pillow. Good job. All right, we're gonna hop from side to side with both feet together. Hop over the pillow. A few more times. Nice job. All right, we're gonna side hop one leg to the other. One leg to the other. And see if you can go a little faster and more smoothly. Over the pillow. Nice job. All right, on one foot, hop around the pillow. Switch directions. Switch to the other leg. One direction, the other direction. All right, animal walk. Let's do party monkey. In one direction around the pillow, make sure you look happy and excited. Next. Let's do bear crawl sideways around the pillow again. We'll switch directions. Great job. Next, frog hop around the pillow. Switch, go the other way. Last one is bunny hop over the pillow. Jump, turn around, and keep your hands on your head. Jump. One more. Great job. All right, let's work on some footwork now, but we will do it around the pillow. Okay, so you're going to start moving, walking around the pillow in any direction, but you need to stay in hummy. Have a good stance. Keep your eyes on the pillow and make sure your center is on the pillow at all times. All right, keep moving. Good, keep going, and freeze. Make sure you're in good hummy no matter when you stop your movement. Keep moving around, and freeze. Good job. Go again, freeze. Oh, make sure you're in hummy. Go again. Both directions. Good job. 
We're going to keep working on the footwork, but let's try to review the different types of footwork that we've learned over the past few weeks. Okay, so that could mean switching hami or sliding over, changing angles, irimi tenkan, maybe stepping and pivoting, could be ushiro tenkan, anything you feel like doing. Just move smoothly around the pillow. Your center on the pillow, your weight forward. And even as you're doing these complicated movements, you should still be able to freeze. Oops. Keep going. Smooth movements. Freeze. Good job. Try to look up. Freeze. Nice. Awareness all around. Now let's work on getting off the line by moving the back foot. Start with the right foot forward. Gonna move your back foot off the line to create an angle. Switch to left foot. The back foot moves off the line. Right foot again. Feel like your back hip is pulling back and your foot follows along. Left foot forward, back foot off the line. Let's look at it from a different angle. Back foot moves towards the outside. So once you finish the movement, both feet are clearly off the line. Let's add an extra footwork by sliding forward. Left foot forward, back foot off the line and slide forward. Back foot off the line and slide forward. Make sure you're able to move the front foot immediately. Look at it from the back, back foot off the line and slide. Keep your head level as you do all of this. Off the line and forward. One more. Off the line and forward. Now imagine having a partner in front of you and you're pushing that person back. If you push straight on, they're strong, but if you change your angle, you can off balance them more easily. Try again. Straight on, back foot off the line and push. practice a few more times. I'm going to show it from a different angle. Get into a humby, push, back foot off the line and push again. Push straight, you're pushing into their strength, but you get off the line and it's easier to push them over. Another angle, keep practicing. Back foot off the line. Okay, one last angle as you keep practicing. Back foot off the line. And how is this useful in a technique? Let's look at it. You could use this footwork in doing aihami ikkyo. Back foot off the line and it's easier to take your partner's balance. A few more times. Katate dori aihami ikkyo omote. So we've covered a variety of footwork over the last few lessons. Let's do a quick review and see how well you remember them. 
Let's start with a slide. And make sure you switch Hanmi and do the other side too. Good. Next step. Next step in a pivot. Nice. Let's do slide in a pivot. Next one is Irimi Tenkan. Good. You can do this with a step pivot and a step back, or the other way to do it is with a slide at the beginning. Slide, pivot, and a step back. This is also Irimi Tenkan. Next up, Ushiro Tenkan. Very nice. Switching Hami. Good. Switch Hami 90 degrees. Let's do the last footwork we worked on today, which is getting off the line. Back foot goes off the line. Good job! Let's bow out now. Line up. Arigatou gozaimashita.